in hindi it is mustard sarsu and the scientific name of this plant is brassica compressoris Assalamualaikum. To all of you, today we are out of the campus with grade sixth. All the three sections are here with us, and they all are enthusiastic to learn more knowledge. And that knowledge can be gained out of the campus. It's my, uh, I can vouch for it, or I can say it's my personal opinion that we must bring students out of. classrooms out of the four walls so that they can learn the things they can learn the science out of the campus as well so today all the faces are bright they are all are happy i am along with my team we have azhar sir head of department here we have mr yunus is a physics teacher here and myself tahir ayupala teaching biology from last two years so today we are here to give them description about uh, different varieties of the plants here so in front of us we have huge area where a farmer has cultivated mustard so mustard is also a crop and i can describe this plant in front of my students so that they can learn and once they become the teacher or doctor or any other profession then they will stand in front of a public they can describe the things they can explain the things proper way that is our main that's our main motive behind these field trips that students they should not be bored they should not feel bored and and from last 4 5 years we are trying our best majorly the science department we are taking them out for field visitors or to fish culture museum zoo and inshallah this year we are planning to visit industries manufacturing units in my hands you can see we have a brassica cultivation that is behind me and i have taken a single plant of this mustard in hindi it is mustard sarsu and the scientific name of this plant is brassica compressoris it belongs to the family cruciferi or we can say the brassicaceae third sarsu and the scientific name of this plant is brassica compressoris it belongs to the family cruciferi or we can say the brassicaceae third sarsu and the scientific name of this plant is brassica compressoris it belongs to the family cruciferi or we can say the brassicaceae third sarsu and the scientific name of this plant is brassica compressoris it belongs to the family cruciferi or we can say the brassicaceae now about this plant you can see here everybody can look here this plant has a primary root it descends down into the soil 
and then you can see from the primary root there arises the secondary roots and from the secondary roots you can see there is a growth of tertiary roots as you know everybody know knows it better that what is the function of the root it has multiple functions it keeps the plant upright it anchors the plant and it helps in the absorption of the water and minerals then above the root you can see a stem erect stem and above the root you can see you can feel it a boy can feel it here it is solid it is somehow woody we can say and above the above this part you can see it is you can feel it it is soft so my dear students on this stem you can see there is alternate arrangement of a leaf in maths you must have learned about the alternate angles so today this concept will get clear here that this is the alternate arrangement of the leaf so if a leaf would have been here then we can say it is the opposite arrangement of a leaf and here you can see this is the alternate arrangement of a leaf one leaf is here then you can see one leaf on the second side okay so they form an angle here and my dear about this leaf you can you can watch it clearly it has not any stalk leaf has not any stalk so a leaf without a stalk is known as sessile a leaf without a stalk is known as sessile in other if i can show you the different one more leaf you can see there is a stalk you can take apple leaf there is a stalk that stalk is known as petiole and here my dear loving birds the leaf without petiole is known as sessile so i have shown you no stalk is here in the leaf it is adhered to the stem next we can see about the let me describe you a flower now that has the same family as this mustard has that is the cruciferi or brassicaceae now you can see this leaf this leaf is we have plucked it out from apple and it has a stalk so we can say this part is called petiole a leaf with stalk is called petiole and my dear students now in the brassica mustard you can see leaf is without a stalk so we can say it is sessile now let me describe you the next part of this plant this is that's known as flower as everybody knows that flower is a reproductive part of a plant <coughs> and in case of <coughs> brassic case in case of mustard <coughs> mustard is a bisexual plant it means both male and female both male and female reproductive organs are present in this flower so today i will show you the male and female part of the flower so are you ready guys yes, sir. how do you feel here very good very good my dear students <clears throat> now i can describe the flower in front of you so there are many flowers and you can see once again arrangement of flower is also alternate and i will pluck a one flower here i can show you this flower then we can see the different parts under a dissecting microscope tomorrow in the lab so here my dear students i can show you now flower i will pluck a sim single flower out from this the rest of the flower you can take it now you can see there are sepals and petals below the petals you can see there are sepals they are four in number i can give you a flower you can watch yourself so here i can i can show you i can show you this lower whorl these are sepals 1 2 3 and 4 now about the petals you can you can see this one is petal 1 2 3 4 so you can see a yellow color on my fingers this is nothing but the pollen grain now my dear these are sepals and petals so this above whorl these are the petals and the lower whorl these are the sepals 
these are the sepals and these are the above part is called the uh, petal or corolla now my dear students you can see i will cut the petal and sepal from this part now so this is the petal they are mostly colored and in brassica mustard there are four petals and this condition is called tetramerous condition and now you can see easily the calyx is below so here is one calyx i will cut it then the second calyx we call it sepal as well then the third calyx and then the four calyx so i have cut it all the sepals and petals from the flower as you know male part of the flower is known as stamen and female part of the flower is known as pistil or carpel my dear scientists stamen has two parts one is anther and second one is what filament and the female part has three different parts like the stigma sepal and ovary and i want to see you show you all the different parts of this male and female so here these are the one two three and you can see four these are the different anthers here stamen here i will cut all the stamen from this flower one you can see above this filament there remains anther and inside anther there are pollen grains and during pollination those pollen grains they land on the stigma and the process of fertilization gets then completed so you can see a single structure lies here now a ball like structure is here that is called a stigma then you have a straight this one more structure this is called a sepal and then a large structure that is called the ovary and now you can see as this is a bisexual both male and female parts are present here so there are maximum chances of cell pollination and after pollination you can see this brassica they yield they provide us fruit and this fruit is called silicua there is also arrangement through fruit that is alternate arrangement so this was all about this is all about description this is a description of the mustard plant i hope you must have understood it in a better way thank you very much god bless you all welcome to all of you today we are on field visit uh, we learn many things here tahir sir give brief lecture on this mustard plant as well so assalamu alaikum everybody so this is me salika shah and i am from six inventors so well i am first of all so much thankful to the science team who just arranged the field trip and you know we were so excited for this field trip and we enjoyed a lot and we did not only enjoy we also learned so many things here and our tahir sir he just described very much about the mustard plant and also about its parts and we know that zero science is all about the practicals and observations and we are so much thankful again and again to the science team